Hey, it's Kamori, and today I'm going to talk about why I sell my cosplays. Now, it's no secret that I sell old costumes. I made a video on how to do it yourself, and it was one of the things that was included in my video on how cosplayers make money. But even still, um, I still have friends who ask me why I'm planning on selling a costume, or fans of a particular series asking why a particular costume is gone, so I figured I would make this video to kind of give some reasons behind that. All of the opinions are my own, not every cosplayer has the same opinion regarding this matter, but I hope you find this uh, video useful. Reason number one is that I'm not going to be wearing the costume again. I really only go to about three or four conventions per year and usually end up wearing one costume per day, if that. So really, if I'm going to a convention, I will try to make a point of setting up a photo shoot and taking advantage of the location for a costume that I don't have any photos of. That means some costumes end up getting left behind, and I would much rather have a costume go to a new home and to a new user than sitting in my closet gathering dust. Number two is that I can't wear it again. There are some costumes that I have that were made like five years ago, and I am human, and over the course of these couple years, my body shape and size has fluctuated, and there are some costumes that I can no longer physically wear, and there's no point for me to keep those around if I can't wear them, so I'd much rather have them go to someone who can. The third reason is that there is someone willing to buy the cosplay. Selling cosplay is a lot more difficult than selling just random anime merchandise online because you, one, have to find a person who is interested in the same specific character, and two, that person has to share similar body measurements to you. So if, a, if someone comes along and is willing to purchase one of my cosplays, and it's a reasonable amount, I'm usually willing to part with it because there's no telling when another buyer would happen by again. Reason number four is that materials are easy to find. Depending on the costume, I've been known to sell some of them that I've never even worn before. Like I mentioned earlier, buyers are sometimes fairly hard to come by, and if someone's willing to buy a costume and it's something that I can easily recreate at a later date, I sometimes am willing to sell that costume even without getting any photos of it. Number five is that money is money. And we all know cosplay can easily become very expensive, and selling cosplays helps me to fund new costumes. Even though you don't really turn much of a profit from selling used costumes, I'm lucky if I can make enough money to cover the cost of materials, this still gives me income to be able to put towards new materials. For example, the recent Danganronpa cosplays I've been working on in anticipation for the new Danganronpa game were funded because of the fact that I sold my Futaba Sakura cosplay and one other and was able to then use those funds to purchase the materials to make the school uniforms. Now, there are of course some exceptions to these rules. If it is a costume that I am particularly attached to, for example, my Junko Edoshima cosplay that I have a lot of attachment to and nostalgia with, I'm not too keen on parting with that one. The other uh, reason that I would not want to sell a cosplay is if it took a lot of time, money, effort, or a combination of all those that I would not want to repeat again. For example, I'm not willing to sell my Liliana costume unless someone is willing to compensate me for two and a half months of labor. I hope this video served to provide a little bit more of an explanation on why I sell my cosplays. If you have any other comments on this topic, let me know in the comments below. For more cosplay videos, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!